changing and God in remembering Bob Dylan, the times they are changing, also the claims they are changing. From my side, I'm not so interested in a view how uh, traditional mountaineering is changing. We see it every year with Alex lately having traversed the whole Fitzroy group in Patagonia. The evolution is going very quickly, but this is one part of alpinism. I see it from a much larger uh, angle, and I think that lately we have an evolution in the mountains that most of the rock activity is done indoor on plastic walls, maybe 80-90% of the climbers, uh, climbers, they are climbers, they don't go out in nature, they do beautiful sportive activities in indoor, and it's a great sport, but has nothing to do with mountaineering, especially not this traditional mountaineering. Today we know, we know it all, because lately we had a great uh, tragic uh, experience on Mount Everest with 16 Sherpas, they died there. Today there is a possibility to go to a touristic organization and buy the ascent of Everest, and this is only possible because before the clients are coming with these touristic agencies, um, Sherpas, hundreds of Sherpas, are going for not only weeks but months to prepare the normal ways on the south side, on the north side of Mount Everest, with a piste, with a kind of a small trail, with fix ropes and with ladders and with and bridges on the crevices, with camps, with groups in the camps, with oxygen depots up to the summit. And so these tourists, they are tourists, very uh, strong tourists, otherwise they can attend it, physically strong, they are willing to suffer because it's quite cold up there, and the lack of oxygen is also interfering. And they go on a safe uh, situation to the summit of Everest. And probably in a few years they will have all the 8,000 meter peaks, but also Aconcagua, Mount McKinley, prepared for touristic ascents. There is no better or worse. All these activities are possible. But I think that we have to describe exactly how we approach a mountain. And uh, since there is no difference in, 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 the, in the quality, each one is uh, searching for his own possibility to go up a mountain or to go up a plastic wall. But in the future, we have to care much more how somebody, uh, somebody of us did an ascent and not uh, if or not he did the ascent or not. And I would like from all of you, beginning maybe with, with Marina Koptova, maybe and I, uh, how she's seen this approach, this new approach is to the, to the mountains, um, telling for the public only that she did a great ascent lately in the catacombs, a wall of more than 2,000 meters, quite all in vertical, partly overhanging, in a system, it was her system, it was her style, and each of the styles is uh, acceptable. But uh, I would like also from you to describe how you see this difference uh, approaches to the mountains as a tourist, as a climber, as a traditional climber, or as a sportive person skydiving or doing some, uh, some competitions like uh, Angelica Reiner, she's the world uh, champion in ice climbing in the competitions. Again, a totally other approach. And uh, I would like one little that you understand how different are the approaches to the mountains today. <laughs> Marina is coming from the book. 